A few days ago, a good friend sent me a video and she wanted to know my take on it. She, she wanted to get my response, my thoughts on the video. And so I viewed the video and what the video is about, the video is 50 Cent, the rapper, producer, uh, writer, actor, telling the interviewer a story about a nugget of wisdom his grandfather shared with him. And, and, and the story is about a situation that occurred between the grandfather and the grandmother. But I think many people, many couples can relate to this or should be able to after a certain amount of years. Now, the story goes, 50 Cent said when he was young, he used to witness his grandfather uh, give his grandmother his entire check. And he didn't understand it. He was like, man, the entire check? How you gonna give her the entire check? And so as he got older, he had a conversation with his grandfather about this. Like, why would you give her your entire check? And the grandfather proceeds to say, at the time you were young, you wouldn't understand. But I was giving her the entire check so she could pay the bills and that she can also see that that was all I had. I wasn't holding out on her. Uh, if I could do more, I would do more. This is all. And so in turn, her knowing I'm giving her my all and this is all we have, that may take her mind or put her mind at ease at not getting some of the material things she may have wanted because she knows I'm giving her my all. My whole check is going towards the household. And I was like, wow, wow. And, and I gave my response to the friend and uh, I'll get into that. I'll share that response with you with you and uh and also share with you what kind of man what kind of man can um invoke uh a feeling or an energy in a woman to where she would negate some of the material things she wanted and remain with him and remain faithful and happy with him. What kind of man can do that? Let's get into it. Get your glasses up. Get your glasses up. A toast to the men. Now, toasters, as you come in, go ahead and hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. It's free. Yes, it's free. Now, now, toasters, when my wife and I uh, got together, uh, you know, I was, I was doing quite well, quite well. And even when we got married, doing quite well. And so, you know, she got the shoes, she got the jewelry, uh, you know what I'm saying? Uh, got the, got the credit on point, everything, man, um, trips, whatever. She, she got it all. It's doing quite well. Had some money saved, you know, we're, we're talking about 11 years ago, 11, 10, 11 years ago. And, uh, you know, just, just balling out, really, man. Just doing quite well. Uh, and so everything was good, right? But I would say, we'll say five years into the marriage, five or six years into the marriage. As I mentioned in the book, man, I hit a roadblock. I hit a hurdle that I could not climb or jump over. And... uh you know, going back and forth to court, that's draining me, draining energy, draining money, right? Uh, draining time. And so uh, financially, brothers, I hit rock bottom. I hit rock bottom, man. At a point, like I mentioned in the book, you know, I was I was uh, fired uh, because of the situation. And I couldn't get employment, man. For, for a good year, I would say, I couldn't get employment. And funds were liquidated. They, I was out, brothers. I was out. And eventually we got over that. And we started rebuilding. Everything started coming back, you know, uh, to normal. And one day I asked her, uh, I said, you know, when I was going through that, aside from being my wife, you know, why did you stick around? Why did you not only stick around, why did you never complain? Because I was doing bad. Uh, 
And she said, because of you, because of your character. And I knew because of who you are, this was just something we had to get through, that you were going to come back up. And brothers, I thought about that. I was like, wow, you know, uh, that's pretty telling because if I had been a different type of man, I don't think she would have stuck around. But here are the things I think that allow her to stick around. These are the things that I think allow 50 Cent's grandmother to stick around. And, you know, I don't know if she complained or moaned and groaned or not. I, I don't know that. But I do know couples personally that have gone through situations where the woman has stuck around, has supported, has been there. And I know other situations where the woman has tapped out. Um, I, I mean, from the smallest inkling that there was trouble, that the money was funny, she was gone. Uh, and so the, I think there's a three three things that play, play a part into this. First, the foundation. First, the foundation. Both people, the man and the woman, have to come into the relationship being honest, being transparent, and with the right mindset. You know, it can't be a take-take mindset and what can you do for me mindset. They got to look at, yes, I do want to receive, but what can I give? What can I pour into this person, which I spoke on a few days ago? So it's a give and take in relationships. But if you're with a woman, that's about receiving, 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 and not pouring into you. Hey, man, the first sign you, you hit a, you hit trouble, the first sign that that money may get funny, she's going to be out. And, you know, uh, not dishing blame, you know, to each his own. You should have saw some things also, so I can't dish blame on her. We are who we are, right? So I can't say a person should be a certain way or not be a certain way. We are who we are. We all play a role. We all play a character who we're going to play in this world. And so you got to understand that. And so you got to really take the time to see what is she in this for? What does she want? And uh, and, and simply, you know, not give her everything, man. Uh, you know, you got to earn some things. My boy Soul Immortal talks about that all the time, man. That giving, giving, giving is played out. You know, you got to you gotta earn your worth. Show your worth. And, and so that's, that's one of the things... That, that plays a part in knowing if I hit rock bottom, if I lose it all, is she going to remain? Now, the second thing is confidence. Yeah, brothers, confidence cannot be purchased, cannot be sold. It can't. Uh, you got to have real confidence. And when I talk about real confidence, who are you? Who are you when you can't get the clothes you want? when you can't get the quality of jewelry you want, when you can't take the trips, when you can't get the car you want to drive, right? Who are you? Who are you when you can't get a haircut by a barber? You got to cut your own hair. That, you know, the money's that funny. Who are you? Who are you when you don't have a dime in your pocket? Who are you? That's going to show how confident you are or how much you lack confidence. When everything's stripped down, everything material is stripped down, and you're just faced with your spirit, with your mindset, that's going to show how confident you are. But let me tell you, brothers, a woman is always watching. Even when you're up, even when you're balling out, she's watching. She's watching to see, is this dude made by money or real confidence? Does he have real confidence, or is he hiding behind, hiding behind the money, the cars, the jewelry? You know what I'm saying? The, uh, the notoriety. What 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 is his real self? Who is he really? Is this a facade? Is this a fake? Or does this man have real confidence? She's watching, man. The third thing is character. Character, man. I talk about this a lot. Who we truly are is in our subconscious. It's who we are when we're not consciously doing things, when we're not voluntarily doing things, the things we voluntarily do without thinking, that's who we truly are. That's our true character. She's watching that. She's watching that. So when you hit that roadblock, 
And you hit that stumbling block. You hit that hurdle that you can't jump. You hit that wall. She's watching to see your character. What will you give in to? But before that even happens, man, she's watching you. When you're up, she's watching you. She's watching you, man. She's watching. Uh, when you, do you do you tip, or did you tip? The waitress walked away, and you took your tip back. You know what I'm saying? She she's watching everything. She's watching character. She's watching. Uh, when you don't think she's watching, she's watching. And that's the true character. When no one's watching, when you know when you think no one's watching, who are you? Who are you? So that's those are the qualities that will keep a woman hanging around when you hit rock bottom, when you lose it all. Foundation, a solid foundation. Both people coming into it with the right mindset, with a pure mindset. Two, confidence. When everything is stripped away, everything is taken. Cars repoed, houses foreclosed on, everything is gone. Do you still walk with that swag? Or can people tell that you're doing bad? Brothers, I was doing bad, nobody even knew. I had old friends read the book, and I call them old friends now, they were friends then, read the book, and they're like, man, I didn't know you were going through this. I had no idea you were going through, through this. Why didn't you say something? Like, man, what, what was you going to do? I had to go through it. I knew I'd come out on the other side victorious. It's just something I had to do. You know, I had to go through, you know, but no one knew, you know, because I didn't walk around with my head down. Uh, no one knew. Uh, so, you know, I remained. I still had that confidence, man. I still had that swag and, and no one knew, man. It was it was a time man. I couldn't even go to the barber, man. So I had to sacrifice some things, you know, so to be able to provide for my family. So I gave up some things. That haircut from a barber was one of the first things I gave up. Yeah, that was, that was one of the first things. Man, I cut my own hair. Yeah, it was, it, was, it was getting pretty bad. And the last thing, man, character. Man, I was pushed to the edge of wanting to revert back to some things I had done as a young man. And, man, I had been on a high horse financially for a while, man. I'm talking about for a while. For about, man, for about... For about for about 15 to 18 years, I've been on a high horse financially. I've done pretty well financially, and then I hit this wall. I, I I hit this this uh this trouble right these trouble waters, and I, it crossed my mind to revert back to a younger self of me, and then I said, no, that that's not me anymore. You know, that's not even. I can't even pull that guy out of my subconscious. Like, I don't even feel right even having these thoughts. But a little small thought did did enter my mind. But I couldn't go through with it. it. It just wasn't me anymore. And so, at the same time, man, my wife is watching. She's watching to see how I'm going to react, see how I'm going to fold. Because the thing is, brothers, whatever you do, she's going to mirror. You're going to give her the alley, the okay the loophole to pull something out of her subconscious. Yeah, she's going to mirror you. Because first thing, when you when you do something, man, that's out of character, or doesn't uh, uh, show high character, and she mirrors that, she's going to look back at you and say, man, you did it. Oh, you can do it, but I can't do it. That's how they think, brothers. That's They mirror us. You'll never hear a man say, you did it. Oh, you can't do it. You can do it, but I can't do it. You know, men don't, you know, most men don't even think like that. But that's a natural reaction for a woman. So she's mirroring you. And so I know this, man. I know she's watching. So I had to keep high character. I had to just tough it out and go through it, sacrifice. And she saw the come up too, man. She saw, she met me I was up. She saw me come down. And she saw me come back up. And, man, that's that's a beautiful thing to witness, man. Everybody doesn't get to witness somebody experience those uh those valleys and uh and hills man so that was a beautiful thing for me to go through and for her to actually witness and and i think 
man, that just took the love and the respect, the admiration to a whole different level uh, from both of us. And so, uh, yeah, brothers, listen, man, it's a certain type of woman out there that is stick by your side through thick and thin. But hey, follow those three facets, man, you can't lose. As usual, from me to you, love, peace. If you enjoyed this video and previous videos, go to www.angel2angelhelp.org and donate. That's www.angel2angelhelp.org and donate. We provide services for the homeless, the mentally ill, the elderly, and the youth.